Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, I'm coming around. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back with another Goodwill um, Clarence Center haul. And you guys, I guess more people know this not by the Goodwill Clarence Center. They know it more by the Goodwill Outlet. So uh, ours here in Las Vegas is called the Goodwill Clarence Center. But a lot of people's is called the Goodwill Outlet. So I'll start saying Goodwill Outlet or the Vent. Anyway. Okay, you guys, um, when did I go? I went, oh, I went yesterday, and I went yesterday at 8 o'clock in the morning, right when they opened. And you guys, that is like the best time to go, like I told you guys before. I have a video, it's a few videos before this on how I prepare to go and what I do when I get to the, um, to the uh, Goodwill outlet. But I got, I ate my breakfast, so I wouldn't be hungry, and I could stay for a nice long time. And, um... I got there right at 8 o'clock. And you guys, the benefit of going at 8 o'clock also, I discovered is, okay, for one, um, there was only probably six of us there for the first two hours. So, okay, I get to hit all the bins, basically, almost by myself, okay? A lot of the other people are all over at the hard goods. There's hardly anybody. There's like maybe one or two, me and somebody else who are doing clothing at that time. Oh, that's not true this time. There were four other people. It was like a little family, <laughs> a little family of thrifters. They were like going insane on stuff. They didn't want the same stuff I wanted, so it was no big deal. But um, um, so I guess there was five of us. But for all the, for how big the bins are, that was like nothing. Um, and then I got to I got to I got so I got to go through all the bins before the first turnover. So when the next turnover happened to the bins, um, I was able to capitalize on that. And then I knew when the next turnover was going to happen. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I knew that this bin had already been turned over. So the next one would be the next one over. There's two big long bins where I, one I go to. So um, I knew that this one, I already gone through it. I don't need to go through that again. And I could wait for this next bin. So that's what I did. And then I was able to hit that one too. So I was able to hit both bins. And then I was able to hit um, when both bins turned over also. And I knew where I was at in the bin turnover exactly because I w I've been there since 8 o'clock, since they opened. I went from 8 to 12.30. And I was exhausted afterwards. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I got, let's see what I got. I got, um, how many pounds? Well, that may say, I think I got 39.6 pounds. So almost, let's just say 40 pounds. And 40 pounds cost me 39.20. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably can't, but you can see it with a good wallet. Anyway. All right, so let's get started, and let me tell you guys what I got. I got a bunch of good stuff, so I'm very excited. Um, and pretty soon, I want to do what I sold in October, like some of my sales in October, because I sold a nice amount of clothing. You guys, I've only been doing this like three weeks, and really only two weeks of actual selling. So, you know, I was just getting my, my store open and loading up a bunch of clothes. I have been on eBay for like three years, three or four years, and I've been selling hard goods um, in my other store. Um, but my store where I'm doing the clothing, I've only been doing this three weeks. And this is like, I'm documenting my journey and you guys are going to come along with me and see how it all goes. So, um, but I do follow other people like Nicole State. I've, I've linked her below a lot of times. You guys go check her out. I'll try to link her below again. Um, and I thought a lot of things that she says and oh my gosh, she is right on the mark with the things that she has in her videos, her content, what she tells us to do, what to look for. So anyway. All right, first thing, um, first thing, I'm just, I just washed it, but there's still a few little hairs on here, which kind of perturbs me, because I just took this out of the washing machine. Anyway, I'll run a lint roll over it. Okay, there's this brand, it's called, okay, I can't pronounce it, it's C-I-T-A-D-E-L, again, C-I-T-A-D-E-L, and it's a sweater, um, and it says Military Equipment Corporation of America. I don't know, but this sweater is awesome. Okay, there's the, I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but there's the tag. Okay, look at this men's sweater. Is this fabulous or what? And what I liked about it, and this is why I picked it up. I saw these like patches on the, um, see, it's a patch. You can barely maybe see it on the, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. It's a patch there, and there's another patch on the sleeve. The sweater's black, and the patches are black too. So anyway, it just looked really, really sharp with these patches. And um, see right here in the front where my fingers are at? 
So I decided this looks like a very high quality sweater. I looked this sweater up and oh my God, you guys, wait, my little price tags. I had, to, like since I just washed it, I had to take the price tags off just a second. And one second, I got to grab a pad of paper too. I'm coming back. Sorry. Oh. All right, you guys. Sorry, I'm on my way back. Okay. I had ripped off the tags off three things. I had to throw them in the washing machine. Okay. Um. So this. So, okay, and at the bins, because I pay, pay if you do it, anything over 25 or 30 pounds, you pay a dollar a pound. So everything here was a dollar each. So I keep saying that. Um, so I looked this up on eBay, and um, I can sell this for 30 bucks, you guys. So I spent a dollar, and I can sell it for 30. And there were a lot selling, too. So I'm going to take a picture of this very quickly today. I'm going to do a flat lay, which I think will look really nice. Again, check for Nicole State. She's doing flat lays, and they look fabulous. And um, get that up. Okay, you guys, um, like I did last time, I'm just going to sit here and do a running total so I can tell you. Well, I won't be able to tell you because I won't be able to add all this up on the video because I don't make you guys wait. But in the title, it'll tell you guys how much um, I can, you know, estimate um, profit off of all of this, okay? And it's always an estimate. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get... I may, not, I may not even sell that item. Or if I sell it, I may say, hey, I'll take 25 and take it to, instead of taking 30. So, you know, just, it's an estimation. But at least it's a calculated estimation because you go on to eBay, to um, eBay's um, listings that have sold, and you can see what has sold. So, you can make a nice educated choice. Okay, this is a Lane Bryant size 14, 16. So, it's a nice, it's a larger size, so it's a nice large size. This is really pretty. It's purple. I think it's really, really pretty. And I believe the way it is, because it's really like, you know, low cut here. I think you wear a tank underneath, obviously. Okay. Um, and this, let me just make sure. Denim and company. Yeah, um, I could sell this for $11.95. Okay. Okay, now this is interesting. Okay, this has no brand. Um, I don't have the size, so I'll have to take measurements on it, but it's a very military jacket and I think it's really cool. And there's a thing called posh and it's, um, and it's mostly mobile and people really work from their mobile phone a lot with posh, but you can do it from the computer too, but it's more, it's brand oriented, but it's also st more style than brand. It's majorly brand, but it's majorly style. So you don't have to do name brand things. If something cool, you could try to sell it on posh and it might just sell. So this is something I thought was cool. Look at this military jacket. Isn't that just so neat? Let me see how I'm showing you guys. No, let me button a button here real quick so you guys can get the full kind of gist of what I'm talking about. All right, let me button this at the bottom. It's taking me everything I have not to keep this because this is so my style. Okay. So I'm not sure about how much I can sell this for, but I think I'm going to start this like at, at probably, I don't know, because I don't know, I'm going to start it at 40 bucks. I know that sounds a little bit, but you know, this, this would not have been, this is heavy, solid weighted fabric. It's nice. Um, I'm going to start it at $40 and then take a best offer on that. And you guys, just a second, bear with me. I'm writing down my, um, keeping track of my, of what I can sell these items for. So I can have a total in the title when the videos, when you guys look at the video. Okay, this is Denim and Company. And Denim and Company is sold on QVC. Um, I have had good luck with Denim and Company stuff. You guys, it's well made. I buy Denim and Company jeans. I've discussed that before. I love their jeans. I'm wearing them right now. Um, they make good quality stuff and they have a big following. And it's on QVC. It's a, it's a home shopping show, if you don't know. This is a 3X. Um, and I just sold um, two outfits from them, two twin sets. From, from uh, I think I sold them for like close to 15, something like that. So, look how cool this is. I love this. And I just took it out of the wash, so it washes up really, really nice. 
Let's see, it's basically like a um, it's like a shirt, it's like a blouse jacket, and that's how I'll do it. Because it can be either used as a blouse, or it can be used as like you wear like a like a little um tank or a turtleneck under, underneath it, and then top it. Which I might, I'm gonna probably style that, style it like that, in my um listing. I'm starting to style things. I think that things will sell better when you style them too. It takes an extra two minutes and you may be able to ask for a little bit more for it, you know? Um, oh, let me see what I was gonna try to sell this for. Where's the price? Oh, I saw, oh, okay, here it is. Um, so I was gonna try $11.95 for this, but you know, I'm gonna ask, um, for both the last two, I'm gonna ask 15. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask 15 for this one too. And I want to start telling you guys that I'm gonna start going up on my prices a little bit because I'm always gonna put or best offer. Because when you when you list things, you can put your price and right underneath it, you can click or best offer. And then that way people feel like they're always getting a deal. Um, they feel like they're almost um, well, they always feel like they're getting a good deal. And they can kind of you know go back and forth with you a little bit, and it helps sell your item. And also, if you price it up a little bit higher, they can go ahead and bargain with you, which they love to do. And number two, if you want to run a sale, now you can run a sale and you really get the price you want. So go up $5 or $6 or $10 from the price you want so that you can do or best offer or you can run sales. So that's what I've started doing. Okay. All right, next. Um... Did I write the price on here? What I can sell this for? Why I didn't. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do 15 on this one too, or best offer. And, you know, I mean, on this, on any of these, I mean, the lowest I'm willing to take on anything is $10. I mean, unless it's something really like that sweater, I'm not taking $10. But something that I, I, I sell, I do at $15, I'm willing to take, you know, between 10 and 11 for it, but I only paid a buck. Okay. So, unless it's something that's really, um, like that sweater, which I know should sell for a really high amount, then of course, I won't take something lower. Okay, so we'll do 15 on this, or best offer, and this brand is uh, Outfit Women, JP. So again, Outfit Women, JP. And if you're keeping track of this, get a pin out so that you can um, be looking for these brands. I love this. This is like that burnout velvet. It's very, very nice, and it's a nice large size. Um, let me see what size it is. It is a size, seems like a 2 or 3X. 3X. So it's a really nice size, and it's beautiful. This would be beautiful for Christmas. I need to hurry and get this listed. Look how pretty this will be. And I will put career slash holiday wear in the title because that's really gorgeous. Okay, and I'm going to do 15 on that. Or best offer. Okay. Um, these are okay. This was a new jean for me. It's called it's Blair. Um, it's a twenty-two women's, so it's a really good size, elastic waist. Um, and this Blair was a good brand for jeans. So make sure you write that down. Um, I'm gonna ask fourteen ninety-five for these. Or best offer. $15 best offer. Okay. So look, these are a really nice size. Okay. And here's that. Okay. And this is what the back looks like. They're nothing major, but there's a lot of women who wear this size who would love these. They're nice. There's no stains on them. They're nice and clean. Um, they got an elastic waist. They have pockets. So... And I think that's what I'll put in the title, too. That's elastic waist. There's a lot of people look for that. So it's nice and comfortable. So $14.95 for that. $15. Oh, you guys know I always tell you guys I'm also like a crafter on this channel. On this, I'm also in the crafting community on YouTube. So some of my friends are crafters who watch this. So anyway, you guys, look what I got. for the, This is just something for myself, for the, for the craft girls. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's really long. Maybe it's a table runner or something. See? But look how cool it is, you guys. Everything. You know, we do all these kind of projects. How cool is this? I am so excited to do something with this. Love it. 
You know what? This would be gorgeous, like lace book page, girls. Wouldn't that be a pretty lace book page? Or to make a really pretty bag. Oh, you can do so much stuff with this. Anyway, love that. Oh, I gotta put that aside. Okay. Um. Here we go. Denim and Company again. Remember, I told you that's QVC Home Shopping. This jacket I should do really well with. Um, we're gonna go fourteen ninety five on it. Best offer. Okay, one second. Just changing the prices on here. Fourteen ninety five, best offer. And remember, when I say fourteen ninety five, I I use that price a lot because it, I know if it I I look things up and this I think would sell probably around eleven or twelve dollars. There's been other ones that have sold around that. But if I ask for fourteen ninety five, best offer, at least I can get my twelve dollars, okay, or my ten, or maybe somebody will just pay the the fourteen ninety five. And the reason I do $14.95, doesn't $14.95 sound better than $15? So it's just so, it's just little psychological type of things like that that really help. So your listings. Okay. Bam. Look how pretty this is. I love it. Denim and Company, and it's a size, what is the size? I think it's a size medium. So it's not the greatest of sizes, but it's not bad. I think it's a medium. I think I looked this up. And it's a medium Let's see what they put on it yeah it's a medium but and it has stretch to it so I definitely will put that in in the um, listing it has a nice stretch to it so we're gonna do $14.95 on this five six seven the second guys one two three four five six so, okay, I wrote down the price already. Okay. Um, this is just for myself. I thought it was cute. And remember I told you guys, you're making money both ways. If you're selling on eBay, that's what you want to do, like I'm doing. You're making money selling on eBay. And also, you're saving a bundle of money if you're shopping for yourself. So, I mean, you've cut... It's not, I mean, it's not, it's not even half. I mean, it's way more. I mean, you're buying things for a buck when things used to cost you 20 25 30 40 60 80 100 dollars And you're buying them for a dollar. So that's just crazy. I thought this tank was cute. So, got that for myself. I love the beading on the front. Super cute. Just got this for myself. Okay. I got a whole bunch of jeans because I really want to get into the jean game. So, um, this brand of jeans is The Sweetheart. Write that down because that's a good seller. Um, they sell a lot and we could do... Um, I'm going to do $15, $14.95 on these. Let me change it on my ticket. All right. Or best offer. So, and it's a size, what size are these? Size 20 regular and they're stretch. So that stretch is the key word. For my jeans too, stretch is a key word because I have a button thighs and a smaller waist. So like for the jeans to fit, they got to have stretch to them. So it stretches from my butt, but comes back in for the waist. It's a mess. Anyway, so here we go. Okay. Nice pair of jeans. Real nice. Um, I need to iron this up at the top a little bit because it's kind of doing something weird at the top around the waist. Yeah, we'll iron that. But anyway, great deal, great size, very clean. Everything's really nice on these jeans. Oh, you know, I just noticed there's a little distressing at the bottom. All right, well, I will see if I'm still going to sell these or not, or if I will put that in the listing. That kind of bumps me out. I even checked it out yesterday. Darn it. Anyway, put those aside and we'll see how that goes. Um, just one second, you guys. I'm going to put these clothes back in this bag. I like to keep my clothes, you know, in a bag or in a um, box or something and not just out because I have a, we have a dog, so dog hair. So must always keep the clothes protected from the dog hair. Okay, this is this rolled really badly. Okay. All right, 
right. Let me check my camera, you guys, really quick. Okay. Just a second, coming back. Let's continue on. Okay. This is a really pretty dress. I love the color. I think it's very fall looking. Um, and again, I'd be asking uh, $14.95 for this. Or best offer. Um, get that off there. Um, oh, and I should explain that. That's one thing I do when I'm there. Um, I took the tag off of this one because I washed it. But you know, they'll have the Goodwill tag on it still. When I go through, I pick up everything I want to pick up. And after I do that, then I go to the corner and I look everything up on eBay. And if um, if that item is selling, I go to the completed listings. If it's selling and selling well, then I go ahead and write the price that it's selling for on the back of the ticket. If if it doesn't have a ticket attached, I bring some tape with me and I write the price on here. Okay. Also, the thing I do too is since I already looked it up, right below, you'll have sell one like this. Hit the sell one like this button. Now you've already started your listing. And then at the bottom, hit save for later. And then that way, you've already started your listing. So when you come home to make, take pictures, you would take pictures and you already have it up on your listing on eBay already. It's already, it's not listed as far as like active, but it's on your unactive um, draft listings. And now you can just go in and put your pictures in and then put your description in, but you already got it started. So you've already done your research, you've already done your pricing. So you've done a lot at the store. Okay, anyway. This brand is called Soho. It's a really good brand. Write that down. And it's an extra large dress. I'll show you guys. Very pretty. Nice size. There's the bottom. And then I like the sleeves. Like the little cap sleeves with a little button. Really pretty. And this smells really good. It smells like somebody just donated this. And sometimes it happens. Um, that people, um, that they never even makes it into the Goodwill. It just gets donated right on the rack right away. And you know what? I think this did because it didn't have a tag on it. So a lot of times this means that they didn't even have space for it. So they just sent it to the Goodwill Center. Because this smells like there's perfume on it. Like this had just been, I don't know, taken out of someone's closet or somebody. I, I don't know. Maybe they just wore it. I'm not really sure. But since there's not a tag, a lot of times that means that um, it never made it to the Goodwill. So anyway, that's a good one right there. Okay, more jeans. Let's hope we don't find more problems with these jeans. I'm so sad about those ones. Um, I'm still probably, I'm still going to decide to sell them, and I'll just put it in the listing, see what happens. Okay, um, this is a good size. Okay, for one, the brand is called Band O. Okay, here we go, guys. Get your paper and pencil out. B-A-N-D-O-L-I-N. O B L U B A N D O L I N O B L U and it's a size 22 um, size 22 women's so it's a nice big size and um, here we go so there we go and I know you guys in the larger sizes sell the best so and I never had heard of that brand before, but that was selling, um, that brand's selling really well. And um, that brand is selling really well, and these were really, really nice. I must not look at the cuffs on the bottom of those jeans. This is what I want to tell you guys, too. When you guys are looking at jeans, these are the things you need to look at. For one, make sure that the zipper um, goes up and down very nicely, and this one does. Now, this is kind of gross. Make sure you go in and check the crotch area. Because women have their monthlies, and you want to make sure that everything is good there. So that's good. Um, also, check the back pockets for, like, rips or tears around the waistline. Also, the biggest thing of anything, like I didn't check on those ones, look at the cuffs and see how they are. Now, if you have a pair that you're going to sell as distressed, then um, you can have distress. So don't worry about it. So um, it'll be fine. So... Anyway, just looking at this right here. Why is this keep coming up like that? Maybe that needs to be ironed down. Okay. Yeah, I think it needs to be ironed. 
so that's what we'll do. So that's a good one there. Um, oh, let me look at the price on here. What did I say I want to sell these at? $14.95. are men's and this is um oh what the heck is this name of these jeans echo uh ECKO um it's kind of an older brand I'm sure it still sells so well um I spy for my kids um I have these at ten dollars you know I'm still gonna start these at $14.95 best offer okay um it's a waist 32 and these are men's, and they are, um, I'm trying to think if they're distressed. Are they distressed a little bit? No, they're not. They're really cozy, like they've been washed a million times, but all in the right way, so that you can just put these on and they'll be so comfortable. And I've already checked the zipper. The bottoms um, are good, fairly good. They have a tiny bit of distress on the bottom, but not really too much at all. Nothing like the hole or whatever in that last one that I thought wasn't. Now, a little distress on the bottom, which I'll label it, but otherwise, no. And these are really, really nice. So here we go. Okay. These are really nice. The light stone wash. Here's the back. Okay. I think they're really nice. They're really, the fabric, it's like I said, like, They've been washed like a ton of times, but all in the right way. So you just put them on and they're like so cozy. Um, yeah. So on these, uh, $14.95, which I already wrote down. Okay, let me put these away. And I started getting into jeans. I'll try to write down the, the it's a couple, and they, all they do is um, specialize in jeans. I mean, they sell a couple of other things, but their main thing is jeans. And so after I heard his video, I am so into it. And the thing with jeans is, first, I didn't want to get into them, especially women's, because I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm so picky about my jeans and how they fit. Yeah, People shop brands when it comes to jeans. So they have worn those jeans before, so they know what size they wear in those jeans. So you're not going to have that much trouble selling brand name, uh, brand name jeans. So there we go. So once, after somebody explained it to me like that, I'm like, oh, yeah, duh. Like, you know, I wear these Denim & Company wide leg or straight leg, um, boot cut or straight leg jeans. I mean, I, I know I wear them. I know how they fit, so I would be willing to buy those. Same thing, especially with, like, Levi's or any of those brands. So, okay, next one is, again, uh, Sweetheart. And I already mentioned that before. And Sweetheart jeans are by Old Navy. And Old Navy jeans sell. Well, think about it. You want to sell jeans when it comes to anything. Whatever people are wearing is what people are going to look for when they go on eBay. Yeah, they're not the things they're going to sell for 50, 60 bucks, but you can sell them for 15, 12, 10. Don't go lower than 10. That's the magic price. Um, if you're picking things up for a buck. Um, <laughs> that's the magic price not to go below. So you can make a, a nice profit still. Um, so anyway, they sell. So we're going to do... Um, $14.95 on these, best offer. All right. And even if like these things I say $14.95 and I get $10, I'm still going to be happy. I'm still going to be able to profit when I'm done, profit somewhere between $7 and $8. Um, and that's taking after eBay fees and after my dollar. Oh, and always charge shipping, okay? And on jeans and all this kind of stuff, I usually charge between $6.95 and $7.95 for shipping. Um... And that really will cover all the way from, I live in Las Vegas, all the way to like way East Coast, New York. That should cover your shipping. Um, somewhere between $6.95 and $7.95 for jeans. Um, and do your own little checking up too. Don't just trust what I'm saying as far as shipping. But that's what I've discovered. Okay, this is a size 16 Old Navy jeans. Okay. And then... 
again, it said this type is called Sweetheart. Okay, and this is my second pair, and these have no holes. I've checked everything, checked the zipper, checked the crotch, checked the bottoms. Everything is really nice. So, on that one pair, because they're um, kind of that hole at the bottom, I think I'll go ahead and try to get rid of them for $10. So, I'm going to change one of my prices here. Okay, here is a great brand. You guys, write it down right now. It's called Frazzle. F-R-A-Z-Z-L-E. And this is a size small. Um, there's a thing called Posh. And um, like I said, they're very, I was talking to you before, they're, um, they sell trendy, but they also sell by style. So if you don't have the brand, but you have something stylish, that's a good way to sell your stuff on Posh. So I'm going to try to sell this on Posh. I'll probably, I'll probably double list it on eBay and, and Posh. But it's called Frazzle. I can sell this for 30 bucks. The stuff Frazzle is a great brand and small because the crowd on um, Posh is like high school to like 30. So it's a younger crowd. So, you know, of course, the younger girls, if they're 20 years old, 20, 22, they will have to wear small. So this should probably do well. See how pretty this is? And I don't even know if it's totally small. I'm going to try it on because it looks like a medium. I'm going to stand up really quick. You know what? I think that it says small on it, but it fits me, and I, I'm a definite a medium. So I'm going to say that this is like a small medium, because definitely somebody medium could wear this. All right. So I'm going to call it a medium small. Okay, so this this right here can be sold for 30 bucks, you guys. I know. Crazy. So remember that brand, Frazzle, and... Um, be looking out for that okay next oh my hair um this brand is oh it's glory vanderbilt now there's certain brands you guys think do those sell yeah glory vanderbilt does sell okay and um it's a size 18 and we're gonna do 14.95 on these I'll show you guys those beans. Okay. All right, and then here is the black. Pretty nice. And I've checked everything on these, and these passed my inspection, so these will be great. All right. Oh, this is nice because I got this new with tags. Okay, let me see what I can. Yeah, we'll do fourteen ninety five on these too. I probably should try to do more, but it's hard to get more for these. I might do twenty. We'll see. I think probably fourteen ninety five. Let me see what I wrote on the ticket. Yeah, I wrote fourteen ninety five. So I did the research on them. Okay, these are Fashion Bug, and they're made by Fashion Bug. And I guess sold at Fashion Bug, but they're new with tags. So, and it's a size 16. Okay, this is not a regular 16. I'm looking at this. Um, this is probably a junior 16. Yeah, I'm thinking that, yeah, because they have junior sizes at Fashion Bug. If anybody knows, we can link below, but I'm pretty sure this is a junior's size six, uh, 16. So, in a women's, this is probably a size like 7 or 8 in a women's size. So this will go on Posh. Um, I think these might do well on Posh. They're really cute, so and they're new with tags. So that's what's going to happen with Wyatt. Yeah. Okay. So those are nice. And they're white pants, and they didn't have any staining on them or nothing. I was, like, really shocked. I was, like, looking for stains, and there was none. So I was very happy about that. Okay. Let me put these away. Okay. All right, guys, we're almost done. We got a bag. Well, we got two more bags, but one bag is just stuff of my own. So really one more bag. 
Okay, um, we can do on this one, 1995. Hmm, okay. Is it in the pad or something? Let me see what brand this is. Oh, Chico's. Okay, I looked this up and these were going for that price, so there we go. They're probably going for $15.95, but I'm doing $19.95 best offer. Aren't these cute? These are capris. Really cute. Really, really cute capris. And, um, oh, it's new with tags. That's why I said $19.95. See, there's the tags. Um, and it's a size 2.5. So I'm not sure what that size is, but it looks like a, you know, it's probably a size 8 or a 10. Probably an 8. 8 or a 10. But it's new with tags, so very good. I love when I find new with tags. Okay. This I'm going to sell on, try to sell on Posh again. Um, it's a um, Charming Charlie. Okay, yeah, Charming Charlie. And I'm probably going to try to ask for $14.95 on this. Look how cute it is. Very young and youthful looking, so... I thought this would sell good on Posh. And I'll double list them. Like, I'll list on eBay, and then I'll go and list it on Posh. And then um, I'll put, like, somewhere in the um, title, I'll put, um, if it's on eBay, I'll put a P. Because I put, uh, at the end of my um, title, I put um, my own little coding system right in the title at the end in parentheses. So they, they, th they, they think it's some type of a number, which it is. But in that number, I will put... If it's also list, if I list it on eBay, it's also listed with Posh. I'll put a P. If it's on my Posh site in the title, I'll put um, an E, which means it's also in eBay. So I know, so I know to go and take it out of one store to keep track. Okay, this. Um, let me check my camera too. Um, this is from Curves, and it's like an exercise type of thing, and it's never been used. I mean, you can tell it's never been used. So I'm gonna say new without tags because it has never been used um and i could probably get 15 to 20 for this okay this is really cool and you can just tell i mean there's no smell to it obviously there's no and you can just tell like it's never even been washed it's never been worn so they use this for something probably like you know like how people use this to like really sweat a lot or whatever while they're working out probably to you know Increased calorie burning. Let me check my camera really quick, you guys. Okay. I think we're going to be fine. My camera shuts off like at 25 minutes or 30 minutes or something ridiculous. Okay. Um, again, $14.95. Best offer. All right. Um, this is called Flirt by Old Navy. And these are very nice. And the size is, what size are these? Size 16, so this is a good size. Okay. So when people buy these, and they've probably bought them for, they've probably bought in a pair of Old Navy jeans called Flirt. Um, so they know how they fit. Okay, uh, this is a this is Ann Taylor Loft. Um, I said fifteen ninety five on these, so I guess I can I look those up. So um, these are a size eight. Um, so this isn't a great size, but it's not super bad either. But they're really nice, and um, I thought I'd take a chance on these because they're Ann Taylors and they're just beautiful. Oh, and they're wide leg. Like, I'll show you the wide leg in a second. Here are these. They're really, really nice pants. Look like they've hardly ever been worn. Look at the wide leg. Really, really cool. Kind of like palazzo type of look on the bottom. That really cool 70s look, which is really into. So, love those. They look like they've hardly ever been worn. And I said $15.95 on those. Yeah. Okay. Um, this brand is New York and Company, and these, um, I never, I hadn't heard of this brand. This is a size 14, again, $14.95, best offer. Okay. 
Okay, and these are in nice condition. And here's the back. Okay. Very nice. And I think one more, okay, two, two more things. This and then one more thing. Okay, um, this brand, oh, it's that old, that sweetheart. Somebody was getting rid of their sweetheart. It's probably the same person. Um, I would have been keeping track of the size. I would have known. Uh, size 16, regular, and again, will be $14.95. For some reason, I put $18.95 on this. Hmm, I don't know why. We'll do $14.95, probably. Yeah. I want the darn things to sell. Okay, so $14.95, size 16. Again, there's the back. Here's this. And these are capris. I believe. Are they capris? Yeah, they have a little thing here. They're capris, so. I don't know why I put 18. I, oh, I need to wait a minute. One second. Let me look at something. This is size 18, not 16. Anyway, we'll put 4.95 down. But they're very nice. Nice dark denim. A little, um, they're capris. I think they'll do well. There we go. Okay. And then the last thing, I think, this is a brand I hadn't heard of, Alex Marie. And I can sell this for, and I'm not sure if I'm going to um, sell this or not. I'm going to do $14.95 for this. Their stuff sells really, really good prices. So make sure you guys um, write that down, Alex Marie. It's just a really pretty top, and it's made out of really good fabric. It's super stretchy. It's like a good stretch knit. Really, really nice. But this is really, really my style so and my color so i don't know if i'm gonna sell this or not i really want to okay let me check this other bag oh no i got a couple more things still and this other bag the other bag has some stuff in it i like to buy stuff for my crafting stuff and that's what this is okay let me just throw this in here Okay, so I do got, I do have two more things. Yeah, let me check my camera because I know it's going to switch off. Okay. So, the last two things that I got. Um, this brand is called Seven. This was another really good brand. Um, and this is a skinny, oh, and it's the Distress. So these should do really well. I'm asking 30 for these. Oh my gosh. Um, when I did the comps, it was really, really good. So um, what size are these? And it's a size 16. So it's a good size too. So I'd like to find more of this. So that's what these look like. They're called seven. You spell out the name, well, you, you spell out the name seven, and then you put the number seven at the end. So there's the so there's like the tag right there. Hope you guys are seeing that. These are really cool, and they have all the distress on them on the front, on the knees and everything. So I think these will do well. So thirty bucks for those. Okay. And then um, I'm going to try to sell this on Posh. I'll, I'll double list it on eBay too, but definitely for Posh. Um, I think I can get, I'm going to do $14.95 on this. Um, or best offer. Um, it's by Candies and it's a, a full leather jacket. And I love it. You know what I didn't do? I didn't test the zipper. Let me do it right now. That's a big mistake, you guys. Check your zippers before you leave the store. All right, this is it. Thank God. Anyway, and what size is this? It's size large. Again, this does not look large. So I'll do the measurements on it and tell them what it fits like. Because I'm a size medium, so this looks kind of like small. This does not look like a large. It's probably a junior's large. So we'll, I'll do the measurements on it. And this will probably, I'll probably only try to sell this on Posh. 
now that I see the size, because it's a little bit smaller size. So, um, yeah, $14.95 on that. And then that is it, you guys. I think I went through everything. Yes, I did. Uh, a couple quick things. I just want to say, if you decide you want to go do this, um, you want to start selling on eBay, um, and you're like, I don't know. I can't memorize all these brands. I don't know all these brands. I don't know all the brands either. You know, I have, you know, maybe 100, 150 in my head, and then I have some written down. But what I do is when I go there, I don't even look at brands first. I just go and start looking for things that are stylish and things that have good fabrics. Even if the fabrics aren't great, 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 but it's cool style, I pick it up, okay? If it's something that, that's neat fabric and a neat style and just and feels good, you're going to start getting a really good eye for things, okay? Then um, those are the things I pick up. And then I just throw those in my cart, those in my cart, those in my cart. And also, I'm also also looking at brands too. So when I pick it up, I see if I recognize the brand right away also. Um, but a lot of times I don't recognize the brand and I'm discovering new brands all the time. So it's also going to help you discover new brands all the time at the same time. So, um, and you're also learning the brands that are in your state that go to your stores because the same brands may not be selling in New York. They're selling here. So in Vegas, where I live. So that's how I do it. So you don't have to have a wealth of knowledge to do this. But what you do have to do is at the end, when you're done going through the bins, I'm going to go through both the bins. After I'm done, I go over to the corner. I get my eBay app out. Make sure you get your eBay app. And um, I start going through completed listings. So you look up the item and search. Go to the side. It says completed listings. Click on that so you can see what has sold and how much it sold for. And you can see that item is selling. I check all my items before I leave the store. When I do that, at the same time, though, at, okay, after I check it and I say, okay, I want to I wanna go ahead and get this, there's a little button underneath that says sell one like this. I hit that. After that, I at the bottom of that, I say save for later. Now, what that's done, it's already created your listing. So now you've already priced the item and you've already, and you've already, um, you've already uh, priced the item and saved the listing. So it's already in your eBay thing of um, drafts. It's already in your drafts on your account. So you can go there and go, oh, okay, this is a uh, Candy's large leather jacket. And you can go ahead and put your pictures in there. And I take pictures on my phone, so the pictures will go right. I look it up on my phone again, take the pictures on my phone, and, um, and go right into it that way. And then after that, I take it, and then I go to my computer, and then I finish the listing on my computer. Once you guys get into this and you're doing it, the things I'm saying, you're going to understand what I'm saying. Or if you're already doing it, it's another way you can do it if it works for you. And anything I say is not law, or it's not the only way to do it. Anything anyone says is not law or any way to do it. There is 20 million ways to skin this cat. So you guys, cherry pick. Take things you like from me. Take things you like from Nicole State. Take things you like from the Golden Finger Picker, whoever. And create your own system of what works for you, okay? And always be willing to change at all times your system like if it's not working don't keep doing the same crazy crap do something else try other things always be willing to change always be willing to do something different always be willing to learn new stuff and if you can do that you'll be successful well, at anything at anything in life if you're always willing to like i always say be like water my friends be like water if you don't understand that Look at one of my other videos, I explained what be like water means, but basically it just means be fluid, go with the flow, when you need to change, be willing to change, and you'll be successful. So, um, I think that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give my video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Then you have to know if you guys are liking these videos. And, um, and like I said, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, try to think if there's anything else. Oh, and I'd love for you to share my channel with a friend. That would be awesome. So they can learn how to do some cool eBay stuff and get some nice tips. I hope, hope what I did help, help you guys and, um, help you, help you guys on your eBay journey. And I think that's it. I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, one last thing. I kept a running tally of how much I could possibly make off of everything that I, um, that I bought that will be in the title so I don't always know like what I'm gonna profit or what estimated profits gonna be um, until after the video so just look in the title and it will have what I um, how much I approximately will make up all these items when they sell all right you guys talk to you guys next video